I have a terrible secret. I have a very unorganized closet right now. How do you get rid of clothing not knowing what your size is going to be? I'm gonna show you my philosophy. It's easier than you think. Okay, first off, I should address my neck. As you can see, it's a train wreck right now. It's because I had RF microneedling done on my neck. It is healing, it looks horrible. It's the way it's supposed to look. That is what I understand. And I have a whole video coming out as soon as I have everything to tell you. I'm really okay. It's not a disease. The first thing to do is empty out the entire closet. Well, my side. I'll leave my husband's for him. Everything off the floor first. You honestly do not know how much clothing and shoes you have until you start piling it out and emptying everything out. You really have way more than you think. Oh boy, we have a lot of work to do. But we're gonna start with something easy, shoes and accessories because we need something that's a little bit easier to handle. First, we're gonna get rid of the shoes we know we're not gonna like. And it's easiest to do the season that you just got done with. So I'm gonna start with winter shoes. While you're decluttering, always have a pad of paper and a pen because as you're putting things in your bag or your box that you're going to use to donate, you're going to write down everything because you will need that when it's tax time. All you have to do is write down shoes and the number that you're donating. The hard part is deciding on what you're supposed to keep and what you're not supposed to keep as far as clothing goes. When you are a person who is overweight, as I am, you always have in the back of your mind, but if I lose weight, I might like this. I'll wear this again when I lose weight. And so you keep it in your closet for infinite amount of time, hoping you're going to lose weight. And every time you see that piece of clothing, it's like this person yelling at you that you have failed. But the bottom line is this, you want in your closet clothes that you love clothes that make you feel good about yourself no matter what weight you are don't get me wrong i am not condoning living an unhealthy lifestyle where you don't even think about weight there is no sense of you not getting rid of things because you might lose weight at some point and this is from somebody who deals with this i have a ton of clothes here and i would dare say more than half of them i can't wear right now Okay, I'm filming this after I actually did it because some of my footage did not look good. So I'm chiming in a little later. You can see my neck actually has healed up a little bit, but it's still there, I'm still healing. This is only about four days after I filmed. This is how I declutter as a person trying to lose weight. So once you get to the point of everything is out of your closet, that thing is completely empty, at least my side of it. This is very important. You must pick up every single item of clothing and ask yourself a few questions. Number one, does this fit? Now, if this is something you've been wearing all along, you know it fits, you don't have to try it on. But if you're not positive, you must try it on. The second question you're going to ask yourself is, do I love it? If the answer is yes, so it fits you and you love it, obviously keep it. Okay, you know it fits, but you don't love it. This is hard because when you are a person who needs to lose weight or has been trying to lose weight, it's really hard to get rid of clothing that fits you because a lot of times it's really hard to find clothing that does fit an overweight body. I struggle all the time, especially with the bottom half of my body because I am pear-shaped. So pants and jeans and sweatpants, all of those things, shorts, I struggle so much. So when I find one that fits, I sometimes buy it in three different colors. There have been times though that I have purchased something that it does technically fit, but I don't like it. What was I thinking? But here's the problem, I never wear it. So whether it fits me or not, 
I'm not wearing it. So why on earth would you keep something that you're not wearing? This fits me just fine. And my daughter, when I bought it, said, Mom, no, it's too big a print. And I didn't listen to her. Guess what? I think I wore it once. I never should have bought it. It fits me. It fits just fine. I've got plenty of room. This is get real time. This is not the fantasy self I think I am. This is who I actually am. And am I actually going to wear this? No. So if you know it fits, but you know you don't love it, you haven't been wearing it, here's the thing. It's never going to get any better. You're not all of a sudden going to like this article of clothing. Go ahead and donate it. Okay, what if it fits, but you're not really sure how you feel about it? You're kind of on the fence. Here's another question you can ask yourself. If you went shopping and you came upon this article of clothing and you tried it on and you haven't purchased it yet, would you buy it? If you say, yes, I would buy it, then go ahead and keep it. But if you can be honest with yourself and think, no, I really wouldn't buy this, donate it, get rid of it. So that's for all the clothing that actually fits you. Now, what about the clothing that doesn't fit you? If it doesn't fit you, you don't love it, get rid of it, donate it. That's an easy one. Remember, the goal is to have a closet that is full of things that you actually love. Okay, so you try it on and it's just a little bit too tight, but it's something that you used to love. I have a ton of these things in my closet. It's just a little bit too tight. I think if I lost like 10 pounds, I probably could fit in it. What do you do? This is an example of something that doesn't fit me quite right now. It's a little tight right here and it's a little short, but it feels short because I'm heavier now. It doesn't fit me like it used to. This is something that I'm close to fitting into. First, I could put a jacket around it and I'd be fine. I don't love it, but I used to love it. I am gonna keep it, but I'm gonna keep it to the side. That's where it's worth it to do it instead of just getting rid of it totally. Here's my philosophy, keep a couple of them but don't have an entire closet full of things that you can't wear right now. It's okay to have a little bit of that incentive of, if I lost 10 pounds, I probably could fit in this. Choose the ones that you absolutely love, that you're like, oh, I am so sad, I cannot fit into this anymore. Put a couple to the side. I'm talking three or four. I'm not talking boxes. You do not want boxes in your closet or down in your basement or in your storage area that have all the different sizes you're hoping someday to fit into. Keep a couple, that's it. The problem with keeping a whole bunch of things in your closet that don't fit you is you're gonna walk in that closet and every time you walk in that closet, you're gonna feel like a failure. You're not a failure. You just haven't reached that milestone yet, but you're going to feel like this thing is shouting at you going, you failed. Why do that to yourself? I bought these, this is actually underwear, to wear underneath a pair of shorts while you're biking. So they're padded in the crotch area. They never fit and I found out I couldn't return them. Lesson learned, always check the return policy. And these scream to me, you failed in two places. First, your butt's too big. And second, you didn't read the return policy. I just need to donate them so they're not yelling at me anymore because I felt guilty. So what? Five years from now, am I ever gonna remember that I bought these and I made those mistakes? No, so get rid of it. Fill your closet with things that you love, even if it's only a few articles of clothing. I dare say those are the only ones you're wearing anyways. So why have a closet full of things that you're not wearing that make you feel defeated as soon as you walk in the door? Why, yes, I am keeping my huggle. On a cold winter night, this is absolutely my, f oh, my hair is all staticky now. <laughs> This is absolutely the thing I love to put on. It is so stinking warm. Cute? No. Warm? Yes. I'm absolutely keeping it. You're going to be surprised at the end of this thing how small of a clothing collection I actually have. But I had to be honest with myself. When I really, really thought about each article of clothing, I was shocked with how little I was actually wearing. I have reached that moment. <laughs> where I don't want to do this 
that I'm looking at this massive pile behind me and I know I have to go through it all. This is where it's so important that you took it all out of your closet. If everything's out of your closet, you're going to be less likely to just, oh, I'm done, I don't wanna deal, throw it all back in. It's all out. You only wanna put back in what you love. So persevere, know that it's gonna get better and you're going to feel so much more relaxed when you walk into your closet and it's full of things, even if it's not full. It's only got things in it that you love. Persevere, you can do it. All right, I'm one big sweaty mess at this point, but the bottom line is this. I was wearing all of these clothes before I got rid of all the rest. I just had to sift through all the other stuff. Now this is the stuff that I'm truly going to use. It truly fits me. I do have a little pile of things that I can grow down into. <laughs> lose weight into and I can check it maybe every 10 pounds. I can pull that bin out and I can see do any of these fit me now. Now when I walk into my closet I'm not going to feel like things are yelling at me saying you failed. You don't fit in here. There are things in here that aren't for you. I have plenty of room to grow. So this is going to simplify my life greatly just like all the things in this video that have simplified my entire home. So I'll see you maybe in that one or another one. God bless.